Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric and today we are checking out the Roadster 73. In this video, you're gonna get my complete review after testing this e-bike out for several weeks. Let's jump right in. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. Unboxing this e-bike was simple and it was like all the other e-bikes that I put together where you have to put on the front tire But everything else on the e-bike maybe a couple fenders and the front headlight like you see here and adjusting the handlebars like you like them But other than that, it's all put together now starting with the handlebars on the left hand side I love these more comfortable grips it definitely makes it more comfortable from riding you have a throttle and your front brake on the left side and the throttle does work from zero. You can go up to pedal assist, PAS, five, and if you hold up, that will turn on the headlight. So on the right-hand side, you do have a bell and your shifter, which is really nifty. You can use your index finger and thumb. It was super comfortable to shift, and I really like that. There's your bell and your rear brake. Again, these hand grips, I cannot understate how comfortable they are, especially riding long distances. Now these handlebars are set up higher, which makes it super comfortable. Now these oversized shocks in the front and oversized shocks in the rear makes it very comfortable, almost surfboard-esque ride. It's super smooth. I mean, these huge shocks are built for what I feel like is a moped, and that's definitely the style they're going for, but I feel like it really works with this bike. Now, what is uncomfortable, at least for me, I'm about six foot one, 200 pounds, is actually pedaling this bike. I would say that pedaling this bike is almost comical to me, especially as I'm watching this video back right now. It's like, Definitely not built for somebody my height. If you were a little bit shorter, then the seat height might work for you. I would definitely like to see this seat height adjustable or at least up about six to seven inches um, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But let's be honest, if you're buying this bike, it's moped style and you're probably just using the throttle. So it is very comfortable just to ride on and put my feet on the pedals and I would say really comfortable, especially with the oversized moped or motorcycle style seat and the higher handlebars make it super comfortable to ride this thing for an extended period of time. And especially, like I said, with the dual oversized front shocks and the dual oversized rear shocks, super comfortable to ride this thing to work or to the grocery store. I mean, it is just a joy to ride, but if you had to pedal this thing for an extended period of time, like if the battery went out or something like that, it would be extremely uncomfortable, at least for somebody my size. Somebody shorter, it might not be as uncomfortable. You can see my pedal strokes here where I'm barely getting any sort of uh, extension out of my leg there. So is what it is. That is definitely a limitation to this moped style bike where you can't adjust the seat height up and down, but I am definitely willing to give up that because this bike feels and rides very similar to a moped. The higher handlebars, the fat tires, I love the front LED light, which I'll talk about more in a minute, but it is just a very comfortable and stylish bike. I really enjoy the moped feel of the bike. Now you can tell that they definitely put a lot of money into the parts just by the shocks, the front LED headlight, but also the battery, something that you can't see. This has Samsung batteries in here and it definitely shows when I did a range test, I was able to get, and again, I'm about 200 pounds and it's winter out, so you're gonna get limited range, but I was still able to get 42 miles. And you can see there, even with a limited battery from a stop, it is so easy to get this thing started just by the throttle. So this is no pedaling right here. Super easy to control. Again, these higher handlebars make riding a lot more comfortable and the lower seat could be adjusted up, but the size of the seat makes it so comfortable. So it doesn't really bother me that much. And again, I'm not buying this to pedal it like a regular bike, um, it's just, I have pedals on it so you can ride on a certain, you know, trail like I'm riding on right now. But it is so, it feels so good riding it and you can see kind of swaying back and forth just by leaning. It is just really comfortable and it is a really well engineered bike here. Thank you. 
So testing out the e-brakes, plenty of stopping power. I'm about 200 pounds and I was going, you know, full throttle for, you know, a few minutes. And so it was definitely using the full force of the bike to stop with those disc brakes and the dual disc brakes, one in the front, one in the rear, definitely had plenty of power to stop this oversized fat tire e-bike. Now, again, this thing is so comfortable to ride, but now let's talk about rider safety. What I love about this e-bike is there is an integrated front headlight and an integrated tail light. To turn on the front headlight, you turn hold the up button on the controls and that will turn on the front headlight. It looks really cool with this halo style ring, but it is an LED light, so you don't use a lot of electricity. But even outside, you can see during the daylight, it is still lit, so you can still be seen by other vehicles. Now going into rider comfort, this oversized seat is so nice compared to a typical bicycle seat. You can see just how plush it is, still firm, but still very plush and super comfortable. It is definitely like riding a moped or a motorcycle with this oversized seat. And you also have this rear storage rack. I love it. These oversized shocks in the rear, along with the ones in the front, make it super comfortable and I think add to the styling as well. Now there's two things on this bike, I would say flaws with the design, and one is the chain. So this chain is so close, depending on what gear you're in, to that rear tire. So the spacing on the crank set is obviously not well thought out. You can just see how close it is to that rear tire. I really think there needs to be some adjustment made. It's even closer at the bottom. So it's almost touching. And again, if I went to a different gear, it would be rubbing on the tire. You can see I have two more gears to shift to and that chain does rub on that rear tire. So definitely some adjustment there. Um, but that is kind of it. That is the only negative thing besides one other thing that I think has to do with the manufacturing process. And that is this rear tail light how it's plugged in. I would say that this wiring I'm not okay with. And you can see there are some frayed wires where the wires are supposed to go into the positive and negative side. I just think that that is probably a manufacturing issue, which might not happen on your bike, but in the bike that I received, it was the case. So this wire was this way and it could have been pulled out during shipping or manufacturing. So Probably not the case for most of their e-bikes. I doubt that any company designs to have the wires installed this way, but full honesty here, and I just wanted to sh point out to you how I actually received the bike. Now to charge this thing, it's super easy. You plug one end in the charger that is provided in into the wall, other end into the bike. Could not be more simple to charge this e-bike. And I would say charge in just a few hours, and then you are ready to cruise again. Now. You will want to recharge this thing because like I've already said, it's super uncomfortable to pedal. So this is definitely, if you're gonna buy this bike, don't think that, oh, well I'm buying an e-bike and so I might get some exercise by pedaling. No, this thing is way too fun to ride with just the throttle. Now in terms of value, this thing is listed on their website right now for $13.99 and I think that is a steal of a deal in terms of what you get with this e-bike, especially with the fat tires, all the shocks on this thing, and the power that you have out of this is definitely, I think, well worth the 1400 bucks. I think that you are gonna be hard pressed to find another e-bike in this price range with this amount of specs. And also, I feel like if you're looking for a moped style e-bike, this is the one I would purchase because I haven't seen any other one under $2,000, especially with these sort of specs. So $13.99 I think is a really good price point. I tested out the dark green color, which I think was awesome, but they also have a bluish color. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, check the link down below in the description. All right, there you have it. That is my full review of this Roadster 73 e-bike. If you wanna purchase one of these, check the link down below in the description. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything.